and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guide. And today, I'm going to be recapping yesterday's limited time solo challenge, as well as what kind of occurred from it, what went wrong with it, as well as who are kind of my top few golden ticket suggestions revisited. Because my first one, you guys said it was a little uncreative. And you know, I was thinking back on it, I was like, yeah, it's kind of right. Especially since we can't control the physical stats, it might screw us. I'm going to pick cards that I for sure would have picked if I was the guy creating it. Now, Super excited for golden tickets. Hopefully, they don't release towards the end of March because I will be going away next week. So, I'm kind of hoping that, like, I miss a dead week of Madden. It's kind of the hope here. But I do know they have, like, 10 days to create them. So, as long as they're creating them, I'll be back in time. So, everything should be more than okay. But last night's solo probably irritated a lot of you guys. Before we get into all the information I want to talk about, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn the notification bell, boys. If you enjoy the family, give this video a big thumbs up. And comment down below if you got any of the golden tickets. I don't know if any of you guys got them. But. Back to what I was saying. Last night's solo challenge was just like the shoe solo challenge. You come over here to the challenges and you go over to where it's a golden ticket and you played it. Now, as expected, the servers went down. Could we expect anything less? In prime Madden days, the servers are fine. But the issue with this is that everyone, the servers have been dealing with like this for months, like, like the last few weeks. And then all at one time at 9 p.m., we had a skyrocket of probably th thousands of users all at the same time doing the exact same things, following the same motions, and the servers, the servers crapped itself. Now, we knew this was going to happen. So, for all you guys who didn't get in, that really does suck. Hopefully, EA does some kind of make right where they release one more, like, one more set of solos or something. That'd be really cool, but I don't know what they're going to do in terms of that. I didn't see Crayola mentioning it. I don't know if it's just whoever got him got him, because people obviously did get him. But it does suck, because even this has always been the case with all games, or all Madden. Even when we think we're getting a fair opportunity, we somehow don't. Like, when it when it was spend money to get it, oh, that's so cool. I mean, that, that's, that's, that sucks. You know, like, that's, that's so cool. Only guys with money can get it. Okay. They made it so everyone can get it. Oh, okay. So only guys who got lucky enough to get it can get it. It's always been the case for all games that do stuff like this. But in terms of what are the chances you have, the 13th, which is two days from now, which is, I believe... Friday, there will be the last set of souls for the last five. So you still have one more chance that the servers might do the same thing again. So don't get your hopes entirely up just yet. But one of a subscriber that I think is a subscriber of Xerxes' channel did hit him up regarding to making it. He ended up calling me afterwards. So it's kind of cool. I We know someone that is going to be making the golden ticket who actually did pull it. I believe, I mean, I don't know how much I can say because it's just golden ticket. But besides the point, I have some insider info regarding it. So that is pretty cool. Hopefully he makes a banger. Because there's a few guys I want. He obviously won't make a guy I want. I'm not giving any suggestions. I'm just listening. But it is super, super cool in the in the long run. Because I know for years, since Madden 13, I've been playing this game. Every time there's been golden tickets, I always was like, yeah, I'll never be a part of that. So it's kind of cool just to see how close we get to the community at this point in the year. And one day maybe we'll get one. But as long as it's going to be like solos like that, it's going to be damn near impossible. I mean, I think I had a better chance with packs. I could have just spent all my coins and see what we want with that. But it is what it is, guys. You guys still have another chance, though, so don't get, don't get entirely too upset yet. Again, only five, though, out of, I don't even know how many people are playing. I got to say at least, like, thirty to 50,000, bare minimum, coming out to play that. So, I mean, the odds are very, very low. It's like .00 or something. But I will be taking my chances again that day. Um, as far as golden tickets, like I said, I can expect them in packs probably near the end of March. I don't see it any sooner because I think 10 days to create them, so, like, the 20th, and they'll probably be releasing sometime after the free agency promo, which probably will probably be releasing on the 20th. So I think somewhere towards the end of March, kind of like a fair time schedule for it, unless they end up dropping it during free agency, which I think they should just spread it out because we could use the most content as we can get. But guys, going into who I would have taken had I gotten the golden ticket. So I revamped my list. So coming in, it's not really a ranking, but these are the guys I want. I want Robert Griffin. Now you guys say I was, I was, on, was not that creative. I think Robert Griffin is very creative. He doesn't have a good card this year. And anyone remembers Robert Griffin on the Redskins, when he was at his peak at his rookie year, and when he had that year, he had some nasty cards. He was great in Madden. He was fun for a connected franchise. He was fun. He was a scrambler. He could throw deep. He could throw on the run. He was one of the most fun guys to have just to play with in Madden. I, you remake this card, he easily has like a 97 speed. Maybe like a 96 speed, but then you can power up and chem him up maybe. Or you can't power up golden tickets, but you can, you can get his abilities. You can chem him up, maybe toss a sprinter on him. Get him second 98, 99, as well as great passing, great throw on the run, 
Gonna be like a Vic style build, but it'll be super fun. I think a Robert Griffin will be so much fun. He only has that that vet card, so you can only imagine the differences for him because this vet card obviously wasn't that great, and that's just gonna be the case with a Robert Griffin card at this point in his career where he's just a backup. But if you guys didn't think Robert Griffin it would be a good idea, you guys are crazy. I think Robert Griffin would be an awesome idea, but I think you guys are referring more to some of my other picks more so than that one. Now, of course, there's not going to be a Robert Griffin up, or at least that I can see. Oh, there it is. They gave him an 85 speed on a backup quarterback for the for the Ravens. I think it's prime card at a 99 overall, probably like a 95, 96. Guys, next one. I still think Cam Newton would be an awesome choice. Cam Newton's always been fun to play with. Hasn't had really a good card this year. Last card was the most feared card, in which his card kind of, was kind of ass. His next card would have like a 93 speed. Wouldn't be the fastest card, but have like a 93 speed with like a 99 throw power, 90 throw deep. 99 throw short, probably like a 95 throw mid, 99 throw on the run. And he'd probably get some behind the uh, behind the card stats. He'd probably end up with like a 90 carrying, which would be super awesome, as well as like a 90 jumping, I believe a 90 trucking, 90 elusiveness, 99 ball carry vision, 90 stiff arm, 90 juke, 85 spin move. He'd be a really good with the ball kind of runner, which is what I kind of like about him. Next is a guy that I didn't have on here initially. But, guys, I'm tired. There's so many players I love in the NFL that just don't get the love that they deserve. And Le'Veon Bell is one of them in terms of Madden. For years now, they never make his cards great. So, Le'Veon Bell is a 97 overall. Guys, a golden ticket version of Bell could easily get like a 9. I mean, I feel like they always juice golden tickets. So, I would, he'd get like a 95 speed, 99 truck, 99 break tackle, 99 agility. Probably like a 90 catching. Now, I know you guys are saying he already has 97, but this 97 sucks. I want like a real Le'Veon Bell card. I want to be able to actually play with him, have fun, enjoy him. He would have 99 trucking, 99 stiff, 99 spin, 99 juke. He'd be good at so many things. He'd have really good route running. His short route running would be in the 90s. Captain Trap would be a 90. Medium route running probably like an 85. Deep route running would be like an 80. This car would be so dynamic and versatile on your team, especially with the speed and everything. I think he'd overtake Saquon if he had that catching route running with the speed. It'd all just come down to whether or not they gave him that speed or not. What stats to boost on him. This one would be tough. I think in terms, since you can't touch speed or anything... I'd probably do catching, try to get that up as high as it can be, because his route running would obviously be great. Probably catching, and then I think everything else probably naturally hit close to 99, so I really wouldn't want to touch those stats. Guys, again, I told you, McCaffrey, another guy that I, I love McCaffrey this year. I really wanted him to get some awesome card. He never got, he never quite got it. None of his uh, none of his uh, honors cards are up, but McCaffrey, ideally, same thing as Le'Veon Bell, going to be identical. Great speed, great catching, great route running, going to be so versatile. That's what I want. A do-it-all back, which you don't really have in Madden yet because the only guys who can do all everything are really slow at this point. And then Derrick Henry, guys. I was, I was doing some thinking, saw some comments. Derrick Henry would be a solid one too because we never quite got that Derrick Henry card that he deserved, that monster. Derrick Henry Golden Ticket would have 99 speed with Sprinter, have 99 Excel, 99 Carrying, 99 Break Tackle, 99 Truck. He'd be super powerful at 6'3". With, an, with probably, like an, and I would probably, I mean, you probably can't touch strength, but his strength would probably be close to like a 97. He'd be the strongest running back in Madden with the best height, well, like one of the best heights with one of the highest strengths with some of the strongest power abilities. His car would be overpowered. His car would be crazy insane as a power back, goal line back, as anything. He could do everything. His catch wouldn't be great, but maybe you could use one of your stats on that. But guys, I think Derrick Henry would be an awesome option. I know a lot of you guys probably been waiting for a Derrick Henry card. I just want to see all the cards that never quite got the love they deserved. Now, this one's a, my person, this is a personal pick for me. Obviously, he doesn't deserve it because he has another card. But Kyler Murray, I, I, I really did like Kyler Murray's rookie year. Thought it was super fun to watch. His honors card's great. But, guys, if we can get a Kyler Murray card that's super overpowered, like, let's see, I have his rookie premiere, so I can compare him here. If we can get a Kyler Murray card that has, like, a 99 speed, 99 throw power, 99 short accuracy, 95 medium, 97 throw deep, 95 throw under pressure, 99 throw on the run, 90 play action, and with some good behind the card stats, guys, this could be like one of those golden ticket Vic type cards where he's just absolutely ridiculous with all the abilities. He can get four ability slots, put like dashing dead eye on him, toss gunslinger on him, toss escape artist on him. I don't know, toss whatever evasive on him. You can make this card super, super glitchy. And for my final card, guys, this guy isn't in the game. You can't get him, but this is like a guy that if we could, if we could make any card this way, I'd make, I'd make a Colin Kaepernick. Guys, just like, same thing with RG3. Colin Kaepernick reminds me of the older Maddens where I used to play Connect the Franchise, draft Colin Kaepernick, or trade for him. He'd be super fast. He was he was good hype for a quarterback. Super, super, decently tall. Super fast. Great arm. Used to be super fun to play with. And Madden Olton team used to get a card and I used to go crazy because I knew that card was going to be overpowered. 
those were the cards back in the day. It was Russell, you the RG3, Russell Wilson, Andrew Luck, Colin Kaepernick. Those were those were the guys, like the, the young studs at the time. It's a shame that we can't make a Kaepernick, but if I could make anyone, I think Kaepernick would definitely be up there. That'd be super fun. But guys, that's about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. We recapped yesterday's golden ticket fiasco. We recapped some of my updated list. Hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to check out today's other video. I'm out. See you in the next video. Peace.